Hi, Steven here, and welcome to Worldview Outdoors. Today we're reviewing a new sleeping bag, not a quilt today, but actual sleeping bag. The Z-Pax 30 degree standard sleeping bag. I do a, this disclaimer, the 30 degree Z-Pax standard sleeping bag that I'm holding right here, I purchased with my own money. I was not asked, nor am I endorsed in making this review video. So the thoughts and opinions I have of the 30 degree sleeping bag by z -Packs are mine and mine alone. It weighs in at 13.8 ounces, it's 74 inches long, has a 900 fill goose down fill, there's 30% more fill with the vertical spacing, and includes a rectangular sewn shut foot box. The shell and the down combined weigh 13.8 ounces. The elastic cord can be pulled shut to keep out the cold air at night. The foot box, as mentioned earlier, is sewn shut to keep out the cold air. The buckle at the top of the sleeping bag can be closed to help keep out the cold air. The zipper covers three-fourths the length of the sleeping bag. The sleeping bag itself has a DWR water treatment finish. The fabric itself is 7 denier Ventum Ripstop Nylon. Of course what I'm reviewing is the 30 degree classic sleeping bag. It's a medium sized sleeping bag, it reaches up to 55 inches. Of course the, what I'm testing it on is the Thermarest Uberlite mattress. cover some of the pros and cons now of the Z-Pax 30 degrees standard sleeping bag. My first pro for the sleeping bag is even though it's a 30 degree bag it is very warm. I've used it multiple times out here and I've been pleasantly surprised that changing from a 20 degree quilt to a 30 degree sleeping bag is um, still kept me warm. Plenty of layers, plenty of warmth, that's definitely my first pro. This sleeping bag keeps you warm. My second pro for the Z-Pax standard 30 degree sleeping bag is it is very light. Coming in at 13.8 ounces, there's very few sleeping bags out there on the market that weigh less. Most of them are over a pound. But this guy, Z-Pax 30 degree standard sleeping bag, my plus number two, it's only 13.8 ounces. My third pro for this sleeping bag is the fact it packs small. It comes with a very small stuff sack and it takes up very little room in your pack. So it keeps you warm, it's light, it packs small. That's my third pro for the Z-Pax 30 degree standard sleeping bag. And my last pro for the Z-Pax 30 degree sleeping bag, it is American made. So I know that the money I'm spending is going toward American Cottage Company. So I know I'm supporting a company here in my own country. It's my last pro for the Z-Pax 30 degree sleeping bag. Okay, I wouldn't be honest if I didn't have some cons to go with this sleeping bag as well. My first is the fact that it is made out of a 7 denier fabric which is not as sturdy and doesn't hold up as well as a thicker 10 denier or a 20 denier. So you get the lighter weight but even in our first couple usages, I managed to snag some of the fabric and actually it tore. So it's taped together now, but that might not have happened with a thicker denier fabric. But for now, my first con is they use a seven denier fabric for the sleeping bags. My second and actually my last con for the Z-Pax 30 degrees standard sleeping bag is the fact that it is very expensive. So you're going to have to save up your money and invest well 
if you want a lighter pack and really dive down into those ultra light pack weights um, you're gonna have to invest um, these sleeping bags are not cheap you're gonna have to save up and spend your money so my second con is that the 30 degree z pack standard sleeping bag is very expensive Here is a combination of the different ways you can purchase a sleeping bag, both in a slim, standard, and broad versions, all of which can be purchased in short, medium, and long lengths. Well, this wraps up our review of the Z-Pax 30 degree sleeping bag. If you like this video or found it of any value, don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to our channel over at Worldview Outdoors. See you on the trail.